An Elk River family is celebrating a huge and rare occasion. They have four new family members all at once. Chelsea Jones had quadruplets on August 17th. They're now in the NICU at Mercy Hospital. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield sat down with a happy mom who is still in shock. When Chelsea and Reese fell in love, they knew they would love to have kids. J yep, two. That was always kind of my plan. And things did go as planned at first. They had Charlie, who's now three. She had just turned two and I said, okay, I think I think I want another one. I'm ready for her to have a sibling. But she was diagnosed with PCOS and needed a fertility boost, an insemination procedure. The chance for a pregnancy, though, with one child was bleak. But the doctor said so. Um, there's actually four gestational sacs in there. And I was like, four babies? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, yep. <laughs> Alone because of COVID protocol, she called her husband with the news. I cried for a little on the phone with him, and he's, he was actually really calm right away and just said, it's going to be okay. Like, we're, like, it'll be okay. And miraculously, it was. She carried the quads for 32 weeks, and on August 17th, she delivered four healthy babies, ranging from 2.9 to 3.9 pounds. When you see four babies. I know. That are doing well. Yeah. What does that do to your heart? Oh, it explodes. <laughs> People say that you it just works. Your heart just makes room and you just love them all. And it's very true. <laughs> and if these babies keep going strong the way they are, they could start coming home into their beds in September. Neither of us thought we would have five kids and that just wasn't the plan. But sometimes plans are overrated. Like this was supposed to be your family. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> who knew? <laughs> not us, not my doctor. <laughs> In Elk River, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. Chelsea had to quit her job to help care for the kids. Elk River friends and neighbors have pitching in with donations. If you'd like to help the family, we have a GoFundMe on WCCO.com links.